When it comes to developing your actual learning content for your course, one of the considerations you might want to make is whether you're going to uh, build your training resources yourself or whether you're actually going to um, outsource the building of those or whether you're just going to buy them off the shelf. Now, there are places you can go where you can literally buy ready-made training resources. That could be the PowerPoints, the learner guides, the handouts and worksheets, it can be audios, it can be videos. You can buy those and use them as they are. You can buy them and brand them yourself. You can buy them and contextualize them yourself, depending on who you're, who you're buying them from. Um, you also can have uh, specialized training programs built for you. Um, certainly my organization Main Training actually specializes in building training resources, uh, especially technical and complicated ones, um, but also really, really simple ones as well. A bit like a ghost writer, if you like, but for courses. Um, so which methods are going to suit you? Now when you think about how much time it's going to take you to, um, to research the content, to learn curriculum design, to make sure that you're structuring training programs effectively and efficiently, um, to bring in the right subject matter experts, to write assessments to be valid, fair, uh, meet all of the different principles of assessment, to be compliant with different operating procedures and standards. Sometimes it actually works out a huge amount cheaper to just outsource it from experts and have that provided to you rather than spending time and resources in-house trying to build those. Only you can decide what's going to be the best method for you um, and obviously it depends on your budget, your availability and what your overall outcomes and desires actually are from your learning program. So when it comes to looking at you know, what types of content can you buy or can you build, we've looked at some of those already, um, but uh, really think very carefully about what kind of content you really need um, so that you can be compliant, you can meet the standards, requirements and conditions, but also provide the ultimate learning experience and uh, then decide you know, what's going to be the most economic, cost effective, fastest and efficient way to do that, produce that content in a way that ultimately is creating the best learner experience for your users.